Hey guys, welcome to King's Tech Review. My name is Daniel King and today I want to show you guys how to install an effect in Final Cut Pro that is not working. Okay, um, I'm going to show you this real quick. So let's go to the computer right now. Now, if you like this video and get any value from it, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, King's Tech Review. We thank you and let's get to the video right now. Okay, guys, let me show you how to install Final Cut Pro effects that is not working. All right, I have an older Mac, iMac here, and this is an iMac. Let's check it out. It's an iMac High Sierra version 10.13.6. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to install Final Cut Pro on this computer. Let's do it. Okay, effects. All right, so I got my pack of effects up here. All right, so look at me. Let us do it together. This is the specs for the Final Cut version that you might be using. If you look at it here, these are the different specs. Um, this is my spec right around here, 10.3.4. So if you're using a newer computer, then your specs may be down here. Okay, so basically this is the specs here that you need to get. All right, um, you could make a copy of this and you could just use it in your Final Cut Pro and get the e different effects. So my own is 10.3.4, 5.3.2, 5.8, 5 5.3.2. So this is the one that I am using, okay? Okay, so I'm going to go to my Finder here, all right? And click on that. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to this folder here. This is my home folder, okay? Now you could get to that many different ways, but this is how I do it. All right, I'm going to open it here and then you'll see movies. All right, this is where we're going. All right, then we go to the motion templates. All right, so we're going to click on that. All right, and then we're going to go to the effects folder right there. Click on that. All right, so we have a bunch of effects. Some of them are working. I already installed some, but some of them are not working. Okay, let's click on this 3D space adjustments. But first of all, I'm going to change it to this hamburger looking type of um, file. Okay, or let's try this one. Huh? Yeah, let's try that one. Okay, I don't know what they call it, but let's switch it to here. Okay, then we're going to go to this 3D space add adjustments. Okay, let's see if that one there is good. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to right click here. Right, this is the text. All of these white ones, these are text files. So we're going to, the only thing we're dealing with, we're going to adjust this text files. All right, we're going to change some numbers. Let me show you. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to double click on it. Okay, and you will see, now you're going to see that come up. That's because I was working on it before. Okay, so let's close that down. You're going to right click and go to open and open with others. Okay, and then you're going to search for your text editor here. Let's see the text editor. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Text editor, right there. And press open. It's going to open, all right? So this one is already adjusted, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to look for one that's not adjusted as yet. So all, this one is adjusted. So let's go down to a wrapped world. I think this one is adjusted too. So you have all these wraps. I think this one is adjusted too already. So let's 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 test it out just, just in case. Okay, 5.8. All right. Okay, and that's my computer. My computer is 5.8. Okay, and uh, 5.3.2. All right, so let's click on that. No. All right, all these are done. Okay, classic sci-fi. I think this is done. Masters. Okay, let's try this one. This might be good. So I'm going to open that. Okay, 5.11. All right, it's made for the 5.11 um, version of Final Cut Pro. And my computer is 5.8, all right? So we're gonna have to adjust these numbers here, all right? So what I would do, I would look at it here, and I would open that one, and then I would go to the next one, all right? And I click on that, and then we're gonna open the text file, all right, so that's the next one open. So I'm gonna do that throughout the, for all of these, okay? All of these effects, let's go here, do that. Bam, you have three open here, okay? And then we're gonna go down to this one here and we're gonna open this one up, all right? This is a quicker way of doing this thing because I was doing them one by one and it took me forever. Let's do this here. Double click on it, open that one, go down here, double click, open this one, go down here, double click, all right? Open, let's go down here, double click. We're gonna open all of these, all right? As you can see, it's 5.11, all right? And we're going to change all these numbers. Okay, so let's go. Let's go down to Kodak 400. Sorry, not there. Wrong file. Double click on that. 
go down here Kodak, double click, go down to Polaroid, look for, remember you're looking for this file, right? This is, it looks like a blank file, but it's a text file, and we can just change the numbers, all right? Go down to Polaroid, double click on that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go here, right here, and we're gonna change this to uh, eight. Right, and then we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna change this part to. Um, we're gonna change this part to. We're gonna paste in this part. Okay, guys, five point three point two. All right. So all you have to do is Command Save. Just save that and click out of the box. All right. Change the eight. And copy and paste. Command V, Command S, and then click it out of here. All right, you go here, Command-V, changes to 8, whatever version you're using, Command-Save, and out of here. Command-8, go 8, right, and then Command-V, and then save it, Command-S, out of here. All right, and this is what you're going to be doing for all your files that are not working. Make sure you know the the com um, know what type of comp or what version of Final Cut Pro you're using before going into doing this. Alright? Once you pull up the text editor, it will always remain up. And I will encourage you to just pull up all the files just like how I did it. And you will be fine. Okay, and just do it just like that. Okay? Just save it and go down to the others. Alright, eight. Alright. This is much quicker than um, than how I was doing it. It was just like so much work. All right, so that's how you can do it, guys. All right, you can speak speed up your workflow like that. Okay, let's see that now. Is the if if you guys know a better way, a quicker way to do this, just let me know. All right, but right now I think this is the quickest way that I could actually do it. You know, it would be much easier to do this way. Okay, so I want to thank you for joining me here on this tutorial. Um, I trust that you guys will get it done, and tr trust I've helped you guys with this. And see you on the next video. Bye.